Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's game, we have two running backs who went in the second round of the 2013 NFL Draft. It's Giovanni Bernard going up against Le'Veon Bell. So let's go now to Cincinnati, Ohio, where Jim and Phil are on the call. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we're getting set for an AFC North matchup as we join you from Paul Brown Stadium. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Simpson. You just have to love these types of games because there's just so much bad blood. There's such a deep rivalry here. The spirit is intense, and these teams will do anything to beat the other team. Well, they will, and you, we know that. It, it, it's just more attention to the details for the players during the week, and also you got to be ready for trick plays. The coaches, they want to try to fool the other team, give their team an edge, so you got to be ready for fake punts, fake kicks all during the game. The Steelers are back deep waiting for the kick. And Mike Nugent looks set now to kick it away. will start their drive from about the 31. Coming onto the field now, the youngest starting quarterback to ever win the Super Bowl, Ben Roethlisberger. Ben Roethlisberger, his nickname, of course, is Big Ben, and he deserves it. He is one big dude playing the quarterback position, a terrific thrower, and moves around and makes plays. First down coming up. Offense lines up here. Bell's going to take the handoff now. That's a tackle right near the 48. Imposing their will early on the defense with a solid effort on the ground. Man, we talk so much, don't we, about the passing game in the NFL, but it's still about who can out-hit the other one. And right now, the offense, they are winning that battle. Nice run. First down here after the run. Bell's going to secure the handoff. Picks up about two. Here's the player who basically lives in the Steelers complex, Antonio Brown. He'll outwork everybody. You said it right. He is the hardest worker on the Pittsburgh Steelers, and it shows. That's why he's productive on the field. Ben Roethlisberger takes a look down from under center. He'll get it again. That's a gain of seven. Hard to judge sometimes what time of possession really means in an NFL game. But I know this. When you run the football like that and you pick up decent yards, that's a good thing for the offensive side and a great thing for your football team. Third down on the way. Miller's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Roethlisberger's got it in the gun. This play will hold up. He's inbounds. Can't pick it up a couple first downs early in the game. It's, well, it's like when you play golf and you par the first couple holes. I know it doesn't happen a lot, but when you do, it makes you feel good. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. They're loaded up in the full house formation. Bell's handed the football. Gains five. Now, talking about the defense. 
defense. An undrafted player back in 2012 who is one of the top tacklers in the league. Linebacker Vontez Perfect. When coaches talk about Perfect, they talk about how physical he is, what a good tackler he is, and how much he really understands the game. Those are great traits to have as a linebacker. Ben Roethlisberger takes a look now from under center. Hand off out of the eye. The Steelers' offensive line is just whooping some tail today, aren't they? What a job up front. That helps the running back get in space, get down there, and pick up a big game. Play number six coming up on this drive. Bells lined up as the single back. Now first and ten. Roethlisberger with the give. And that gains a few. The Steelers try to run the football that time down in the red zone. It does not work. I would advise them to go to a different plan and not try that run again. Second down coming up. Ben Roethlisberger takes a look down from under center. Right back to him. And that's perfect in on the stop. Montez Perfect is a linebacker who can do everything. That's what you want nowadays. You want versatile players in the NFL. He shows that he can tackle runners going outside, showing that speed. He's able to show enough speed himself make the tackle for no gain. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Bryant's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Third down and eight. Play action fake. Looking to throw. As good as it gets. Touchdown. Touchdown, Steelers. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers... They have feet like ballerinas, and even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open and make the catches. The Steelers getting set now for the point after. Driving extra point is good. The Bengals now will get their first shot to come onto the field and score. They gave up points on the opening drive. The scores 7 to 0. Steelers setting up here for the kickoff. And the tackle is made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. He's taken the Bengals to the playoffs each of his first three years. He's quarterback Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton, his team, loves his leadership skills. They like the fact that he's an accurate thrower. And to top it all off, a really good leader. First down, offense readying for the snap. Here's the handoff. Shazier's the one who made the big stop. Let's talk about the starters on offense. He was the first running back taken in the 2013 draft out of the University of North Carolina, Giovanni Bernard. Everybody's looking for a running back like Bernard, a guy that can come in and run the draws, catch the screens, and do the little things to make big plays. And what a great year he had as a rookie in the NFL. He stacked up at that point. Well, that's a nice completion by the offense. 
And what it does, it just puts them in a more manageable situation so they can pick up that third down. It's third down coming up. The Steelers come out in the nickel. Lee, Lee. Dalton from the shotgun. That's Dalton connecting with Gresham. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. The key to being a really good route runner and running these drag routes across the field is show some courage. Don't worry about what's in front of you. The quarterback will take care of that. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Tate's in the slot. False start on the offense will set them back. False start offense. Still first down. First down on the way. Green's lined up now as a slot receiver. They're setting up screen. No one's going to get him now. The 40. What a nice throw and catch that time, but here it just shows you why you want to have a lot of speed on the defensive side. So when you make a mistake, what do you do? You make up for it by chasing the player down from behind and making the tackle. First down here after the completion. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Ball is out. The offense was able to recover the ball. Well, the defense always says, let's call some fumbles. Then when you cause it and you're not able to recover it, that is one emotional letdown. To the pass play, gain seven, second and three on the way. Tate's a receiver in the slot. Dalton will take it from the gun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Tate's lined up in the slot. Andy Dalton in the shotgun formation, trying to work that left side. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you got that defense guessing. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Offense lines up here. Dalton, handoff, and picks up about three. One of the linebackers to watch for the Steelers is Lawrence Timmons. Jim, he's a big linebacker, and you have to worry about him blitzing from the inside position. He can run over running backs and guards. Second down here. Hills 
got it on the handoff. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. They keep fighting for every inch, every yard, as they move closer and closer to the end zone. Well, this offense, they fit perfectly with the head coach. He's a tough guy. He's a grinder. And this offense, what a job here right now. They are grinding this football, like you said, right down the field. That wraps up the first quarter here in Cincinnati. And we'll be back in just a moment for the start of the second. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by the Terrain Denali. Not a whole lot of scoring here as we welcome you back to the action. Not even a foot away. Offense lines up here. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. And it's out of bounds incomplete. Big decision for the coach this time, Jim. You failed on third and goal. What do you do? Do you go for it? I say you call the play and you try to put up seven points. A short field goal try on the way. Drives it through for the field goal. Well, it's a beautiful drive down the field. Long drive by the offense. They do not get the seven points, but they're fortunate. They do get the field goal try, and they make it. The Steelers set to return the kick. And the tackle is made right around the 26-yard line. They come to the line, and it's first down. Bells lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Eyeing that left side. Finds Brown. That's a good job by the wide receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. Here we have second down. The Steelers at the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation. Bells taking the handoff. In on the stop. You got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. Last play was a run. Third down coming up. Moore is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Roethlisberger is going to take the snap from the shotgun. Malugas there to make the tackle. That play is good. Wide receivers get scared sometimes running that slant route. They know their linebackers inside running towards them because they're watching the quarterback's eyes. First down here after the completion. Offense lines up here. <laughs> Setting up screen. Roethlisberger sends it to Bell. Has the first down and a whole lot more. Catch 
There's no doubt, time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times. But one thing you want to do, throw and catch it just like this to pick up those first downs and keep it going. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Bell's going to take the handoff now. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. Second down. Offense lines up here. He's got the catch. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. Anytime you picked up a couple first downs, here's what happens. The defense starts to doubt what they're doing, but maybe more importantly, it gets those big boys over there tired. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. From the gun. Ball's out. And the defense has it. Throws the stiff arm. The tackle is made. Well, the one thing we know about the NFL, when you have the football in your hands, they are going to attack it. You've got to know that as a ball carrier, protect it a lot better. Bengals are set for their next possession. First and ten. Almost made the catch, but the collision jarred it loose. He really hit hard that time. And I know the football hit his hands, but when a defender times it perfectly like that, with that much power and speed going into that receiver, you are going to let that football go. That's human nature. Really good job by the defensive player. Second down. The defense comes out of the dime. Dalton's back in shotgun formation. And this is dropped. So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Split backfield here. From the gun, Dalton. Green's got it, and a first. Well, when you get time in the pocket against cover three, it's easy to see down the field towards the sidelines, and you get easy completions just like that last one. First down here after the completion. Tate's in the slot. And now here's the handoff. That'll stop the play right there. Bernard's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. And now they'll try over again on second down. Quarters formation here for the defense. 
Dalton standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Takes got the catch and the first. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. It's Bernard in the backfield. They'll run it here. Bernard out to the right. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Second and four following the run. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Hill's going to secure the football on the toss. Allen's all over that offense and brings him down. Hey, that's a great job by the defense. What an effort and what speed. That time they get in the backfield and tackle the runner for a loss. This is third down. Andy Dalton backing off the line, dropping back into the shotgun formation. Takes it from the gun. The defense gets a sack. Halftime, two minutes away. up at the half it's the Verizon halftime report all right so now as we go back to the field we've got a good game going and an offense is trying to close the gap before halftime the field goal try yes sir well, this guy's a machine. Every time he gets a chance to go out there and kick a field goal, it is right down the middle. Good job by the offense. Good job by the kicker. Set to return the kick. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. Roethlisberger is going to take it from the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. Had it for a moment, but then lost it on the hit. Well, it's so hard to do this nowadays to jar the football out of the hands of the receiver. But the defender did it that time. He hit him. That football came loose. Incomplete pass. Second down following that incompletion. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. From the shotgun. Has his man taken down a yard short of the first. Anytime you give a quarterback that kind of time, he's going to get comfortable, get his feet under him, be relaxed, and he is going to make the perfect throw down the field. Easy completion that time for the quarterback. 
third and short following the completion. The Bengals lined up in the nickel. Roethlisberger's got it in the gun. Can't find the target on the pass underneath. Well, the offensive coordinator is going to second guess himself this time. Third and short, the pass is incomplete. Now it's fourth down, and he's over there saying, I do it, we should have run it. And the Steelers are ready to punt this one away. Back here will bring the ball out to the 20. The Bengals getting ready now to start their drive. Nickel formation for the defense here. Dalton from the shotgun. A.J. Green there with sure hands to pull in the rocket pass. Good job that time by the quarterback. Man-to-man -man coverage down the field. When you see it, you've got to be accurate with the football. He was that time, and that's why we got the completion. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Hill takes his spot in the backfield. Dalton will take it from the gun. Pulls it in. How about that? You throw the football behind the line of scrimmage, and the running back catches it and makes a big play out of it. He's able to make people miss and he can break tackles. This guy is a force. First down here after the completion. Offense lines up here. Andy Dalton in the shotgun formation. No room to complete that one. Got to give the defense a lot of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field. Nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. Failing to complete that one, so second down here. Throws to the right. The Bengals get a first down. The Bengals signal for the timeout, and that's the first one they've used. Offense ready to play after calling a timeout. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Dalton's going to take the snap from the shotgun. With two hands, he has it. That's a gain of six. Tate's one of the best in the NFL when he comes to running routes towards the sideline. That time, he gets out there and he puts that inside foot into the ground, breaks outside. The throw is on target. Good, solid gain. Just short of that first down marker. That short pass play picked up six. It's now second down and four. Tate's lined up now as a slot receiver. Got a flag. False start offense. Still second down.
Second and nine now, following the penalty on the offense. Takes a receiver in the slot. Three-step drop, looks to his left. And Gaze there to take it down. The Bengals are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. Third down. Dalton set. Everybody emptied out for this snap. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. Incomplete. Four yard field goal attempt coming up. The kick is good. Well, Jim, that field goal puts him in the lead. It was a nice drive by the offense. And what it does, it just gives you confidence. You did some positive things on the field, and it should carry over for you for the rest of the game. Set to return the kick. Throws out the arm. Dragged to the ground. Looks like he's still about a yard short of the first. The Steelers break huddle and start their drive this time from the 25. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. The Steelers will take the snap from the 25. The Steelers are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Offense has had time now to game plan, strategize after the timeout, and now they're ready to go. Coming up, second down. It's a two tight end formation. The give. Can't find space, and this will be a loss of one on the play. Steelers offensive line, they had a middle mistake here. Why? Because they let somebody go unblocked. It leads to a tackle for a loss of yards on the gear. It'll be third down. That does it for the first half. Steelers trailing this one. We'll be back in a moment with the first half analysis.
This is the Verizon Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's get ready now to take a look back at the first half. The Bengals right now are doing a good job protecting their house. The Steelers haven't played horribly, but will need to improve if they want to win this one. All right, let's get straight to it. Here's some highlights from the first half. Midway through the first quarter. The quick pass, it's complete, and it kept off the nine play drive with a TD. That puts them up by a touchdown. Bengals on offense, first quarter winding down. Taken early in the second. Proclisberger's got a completion here into coverage, and it's going to end up going for a gain of 17. Later on the drive, he fumbled and get the defense off the field. Now first and 10, Green's able to haul in the contested pass. And the pass and catch will end up going for 21 yards. So that'll do it for us. We'll send you back down to the field where Jim Nance and Phil Sims are on the call. All right, Larry, thank you for all of those updates. And now the teams are coming back onto the field, and we're about to get the second half started. Sweezum will be sending this one towards the end zone to start the second half. made the offense will start their drive from about the 31 the Bengals will begin their drive from the 31 now The Bengals snap it at the 31. He'll fire it out to the left. Incomplete as that ball sails out of bounds. That leads us to second down. They bring in the extra tight end. Handoff. Polamalu's there to make the tackle. You're an offensive lineman, and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards. You are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying, we're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. Third down, following the run. Offense lines up here. Dalton's back in shotgun formation. The pass is off the mark, and that's a three and out. That time the defense was ready. Third and short, they were expecting pass, and that's what they got. And the pass is incomplete. Now we have a fourth down situation. They're in punting formation. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Steelers bring their offense back on the field for their next drive. The defense comes out in the nickel. First and ten. They go screen with Bell. They have this one covered up, and it's going to set them back for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation.
So they complete that one, yet it's still second down. Offense lines up here. Screen. The catch is made. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing, but you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. That long gain sets them up here on this play. That brings the play to an end. Second down coming up. Ben Roethlisberger takes a look down from under center. He's looking to the right here on this throw. He's tackled at the 30. Big first down by the offense that time here in the second half. They're losing a close game, and you get that first down. It just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. First down here after the completion. This play set up by the long gainer. And he's taken down. Well, I know this feeling. When a blitzer's coming, nobody's there to block him. There's nothing you can do as a quarterback, but try to protect yourself because you're going down. down now coming to the line hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time Bell's gonna secure the handoff they bring him down at the 41 yard line when you get the situation like this as a quarterback it's in the second half it's third and long you're losing a close game it's up to you to make the right decision don't force the issue if it's not there, throw it short or throw it away. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. Offense lines up here. Halfway through the third quarter. Should have had it. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. The punter awaits the snap. First down here. It's Bernard in the backfield. From the gun, Dalton. A.J. Green with the catch. Troy Polamalu in on the tackle. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up. And when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. This will be second down. Hey, 
takes it from the strong eye. He'll pick up seven this time. That's a nice play that time by the offense, getting the first down. They're up here in the second half, and they're moving the football. That is a great feeling. They're able to move the chains after that last run. They'll go ground. And bringing them down, it's Lawrence Timmons. And it'll be second down at six after the running play on first down. Offense lines up here. Throw to the left. Dalton sends it to Green. Green has undoubtedly been the top target for his quarterback today, Phil. Yeah, he has. And quarterbacks, that's what happens when a wide receiver gets hot. Hey, they'll start looking for him, and that's what's happened in this game so far here. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. They go draw. He's got a wide open alley, and that's a gain of 10. When I was a quarterback, I loved it when they called the draw play because I know that defensive line, they're all trying to go after the quarterback, and nobody's prepared for the run. Second and short following the run. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Hills met at the 23. Well, here we are in the second half of a tight game, and you, you always hear this control the tempo of the game, just move the chains, and that's what the offense did that time. Picked up the first down and just keep marching from here. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. <laughs> Dalton from the shotgun. Andy Dalton gets it out to A.J. Green. Kim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Second down and five. Makes the catch. That's a touchdown. You spend so much time in this league. Once you get in the red zone on the offensive side, all these different plays, knowing you must be efficient, you need to score touchdowns instead of kicking field goals. Well, you can feel good now because you got it in there. The Bengals for the point after. Inside of the upright. Dalton's going to look on now from the sidelines. That last drive, he contributed more than 50 yards in the air. The Steelers set to return the kick. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21.
It's first down as they head to the line. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Ben Roethlisberger dropping back in shotgun formation. Roethlisberger over to Antonio Brown. Jim, when you're down multiple scores in the second half, you're looking for the little things to get momentum on your side. So just get a first down. Don't look for the big plays. That was a good job by the offense that time. And that wraps up the third quarter here in Cincinnati. And we'll be back in just a moment for the start of the fourth. The Steelers are still in possession as we get this final quarter underway. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. The defense gets the sack. That's what all defensive coordinators love to see. When they don't have to blitz, and one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. Second down coming up. Miller's in the slot here for this play. Roethlisberger takes the snap from the gun. Roethlisberger sends it to Bell. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. way third down loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime Roethlisberger from the gun and he's forced to the ground we got to give that defense in front a lot of credit man they are pushing they're getting after it they know it's probably going to be a pass on third down and they get back to the quarterback and take him down The Steelers are ready to punt this one away. They'll take it at the 20. Face first down. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. That tackle was made at the 27 yard line. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Second down and three, following that nice run. Andy Dalton will be under center. Strong eye, handoff here. He's brought down at the 30-yard line. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. 
It's Bernard in the backfield. Makes the catch. Good piece of tackling. Well, when you play this type of defense where you play cover three, in other words, you have three defenders playing one in the middle, one right, and one left. Well, the weakness of that defense is going to be underneath. So slant patterns, they're pretty easy against this cover three. First down here after the completion. Two tight ends on the field here. Looking to go up top again on first down. Finds Gresham. As we get another look at the stats in a game where you're winning, you expect your quarterback to come up big. And that has been the case today. It's been an outstanding day from the quarterback position. Decision making, throws all over the field, accuracy. You can't ask your quarterback to do any more than he has done today. Offense lines up here. Second down, three to go. Out of the eye. Here's the handoff. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times, and we saw at that time they stopped the play for a short game. Now third and short following the run. Andy Dalton will be under center. Time's running out of this one. Midway through the fourth. Mitchell's there to take him down. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. It's Bernard in the backfield. From the gun. Has the reception all alone. Well, when you get a couple first downs, it just gives you such great confidence. It makes everybody relax. And I always say this, when you're a relaxed athlete, that's when you play your best. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Here's the first snap after the big play. Hills handed the football. He's brought to a halt. The Bengals lead right now, but you will see that not everything is going their way. Hills had a tough one, especially down the stretch. If they want to control the game, you have to think they're going to go back to him for some more touches and try to get it right. That's right. Keep giving him the football. Keep mixing the plays up. Don't get obvious in your play calls. If you do, the defense will have everything on their side. Last play before the two-minute warning. And he's in for the touchdown. Good job on that touchdown that time. And I'll tell you, there's nothing like being on top of the other team and make them chase you. Throws the pass. So they give up the touchdown, but they do not allow the two-point play. Yeah, good job that time by the defense. So quick and so ready for that play. They reacted very fast. That's why they stopped it. The Steelers set to return the kick. And now we reach the two-minute warning.
Just two minutes left in this one. We're back now for the end of the fourth quarter. First down here. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. Roethlisberger standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. And that's good for only a yard or two. Holding on to the timeout. He'll rush back to the line. Jumps into the air and pulls it down. The Steelers are going to call a timeout. Want to talk about this third down. Offense getting set now, following the timeout. Offense still looking for a first after that completion on second down. Roethlisberger set, empty backfield. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Roethlisberger gets it to his tight end, Heath Miller. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Timeout won't be used here. They'll go to the hurry. Down the field, intercepted. Tackles made. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. down coming up Andy Dalton will be under center gets the handle here and that's a gain of maybe five the Steelers use another timeout here and they have one left The defense needed to slow this game down. That timeout might be very useful. Now they're ready to go. Second down coming up. Offense lines up here to the ground. And he is brought down at the 39. Defense calls a timeout. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. Andy Dalton will be under center. Hill's got it on the handoff. 
Tackle down right around the 47. That's an awesome job by the offense picking up this first down here in the second half. They've got a big lead. It's not about scoring anymore. It's just about milking that clock, and that is an art, and this team is good at it. First down here after the run. Takes the knee. Second down here. Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley. Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.